Hey everybody! In honor of President-elect Joe Biden, I thought it would be fun to read a book by New York Times best-selling author Dr. Jill Biden. A book called Joey, the story of Joe Biden. Give me the ball. At eight years old, Joey Biden was always ready for the ball. It didn't matter if he was the smallest boy in the team. Baseball, football, basketball, whatever. No one's more competitive. Joey wouldn't dream of missing a water balloon fight or a snowball battle. Always eager to prove he had guts. He never refused to dare, even when it was dangerous. He, <laughs> he climbed atop a mountain of still burning coal, for example. He raced along the pipes high above a river. Once he grabbed a heavy rope and swung over a construction site, imitating Tarzan without a net. That's not even a, that's not even a rope that they're showing in the illustration. It's a cable, right? It's like a cable on a crane. It's not a heavy rope, but whatever, it's fine. Not sure that it's the best idea <laughs> to put these things in a children's book. He never refused to dare, even when it was dangerous. You know, great role model, kids. <laughs> All the neighborhood kids competed to see who could climb the flagpole in the football field. The feat was impossible. The slippery pole swayed in the wind. Only one kid made it to the top, and that was Joe Biden. Joey Biden. <laughs> Home was a place for family and learning. His uncle sat Joey down with the newspaper editorial pages and discussed the latest news. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know why I don't believe that. But school was where the bullies were. <laughs> Kids made fun of him with cruel nicknames. They assumed he wasn't smart. Assumed. Joey felt incredibly frustrated, but he remembered his father's words. Get up! Get up! Instead of showing how hurt he felt, he fought with boys who teased him. And then there was like an illustration of him beating up... Beating up four kids. <laughs> four against one, Joey... Joey did it. Maybe this shouldn't be in a children's book either. If bullies pick on you, you beat them up. <laughs> While in high school, he grew a foot taller. No longer Joey, but Joe. A football and basketball star, he didn't have to say, give me the ball anymore. They just gave it to him. And he even earned a new nickname, Hands. <laughs> So, his nickname was Hands for his wizardly ability to catch the ball. <laughs> the football team always went to the local diner for hamburgers after games. When the owner refused to let his African-American teammate order with the rest of the athletes, Joe led the whole team to leave in protest. Yeah, I'm sure he did. I'm so sure. He's claimed that he was an activist and he went to a church and they like desegregated a movie theater. Well, I got my education, Reverend Doc, in the black church. Not a joke. Because when we used to get organized on Sundays to go out and desegregate movie theaters and things like that, we'd do it through the black church. But all kidding aside, it's what got me engaged. Doesn't mention that in the book. Doesn't mention that in Joey, the, Joey, uh, the story of Joe Biden. Doesn't mention that for some reason. Probably because it never happened. And there's this, he's like, he spent one summer as the only white lifeguard. While playing basketball with the other lifeguards, Joe learned firsthand about the struggles of black America. And it's like, okay. And there's Joey in the middle with all of his hair. They don't show the pole. They don't show him as a lifeguard. And um, no mention of Corn Pop. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. I don't know whether they just kept it out or if just Corn Pop was all fake. I want to know who Corn Pop was. I don't, either he existed or he didn't exist. Regardless, Corn Pop is not in this book. Not a joke. After graduating from law school, Joe had things to say. Maybe he was just a regular guy, not rich, not privileged, but he dreamed big and saw himself as a leader. The best Biden I can be. F this guy. Give me the ball. Only now, instead of sports, it was politics. 
Um, and then he's on the train. Give me the ball. Not a real ball, but a job in politics. Wait, didn't they just say that? Give me the ball only now instead of sports was politics. Give me the ball. Not a real ball, but a job in politics. Great, great job, Dr. Jill Biden. Great job. Not redundant at all. And voters did. They gave him the ball. They gave Joe. They gave Joey hands the ball. Good for them. As a senator, he was one of 100 people who handled serious responsibilities, like voting on what laws the United States should have. And we've been regretting it ever since. <laughs> I love this. This is really funny. He was powerful and respected, always voted most liked. Really? Do they have like a yearbook at the end of this thing? Do they have a yearbook saying, you know, um, most popular, best kisser, <laughs> best groper. <laughs> so doesn't mention the car crash. Doesn't mention any of that stuff. But it mentions, you know, him beating people up. That's nice. It's always good. After more than three decades of serving this country, Barack Obama gave him a medal. <laughs> he served eight years with distinction, leading President Obama to call him the best vice president America's ever had. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh-huh. It's so weird that they didn't talk about that whole thing where he, uh, you know, he bragged about getting the Ukrainian prosecutor fired by, you know, withholding aid kind of, you'd think that'd kind of be important. Maybe not for a kid's book, though. After huddling with his family, he announced in 2019 that he was running for president. You know, after all the plastic surgery set in, and you know, with this decades of experience, he called the next election a battle for the soul of America, and Joe Biden was ready to fight it. Give me the ball. Really? A Biden family scrapbook. Wow. Joey looks so handsome as a child. Sources for quotations. A source for Give Me the Ball is his book that he wrote. <laughs> I mean, come on. And why they would put Joey hands? That's just unreal. Why would they put that in his book? <laughs> the sources for quotations are just ridiculous. Most like Senator... Who's the source? Jill Biden. <laughs> and then here are the Bidenisms. All right. Joey, when you get knocked down, get up, get up. That's what his dad used to say, right? But then his dad, he, he, I've heard him say this in a, in a bazillion speeches where he goes, Something my dad used to say. He said, Joey, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. So why isn't this quote attributed to his dad? Joe Biden didn't say that. His dad did. And here's this one. Keep the faith. Joe Biden never said keep the faith. That was his grandfather. As my grandpa, our grandpa, used to say when I walked out of his home when I was a kid up in Scranton, he said, Joey, keep the faith. I wonder how well that book did. I wonder if it was a bestseller. Joey, the story of Joey Joe Hans Biden. One of the MSNBC guys, he's also on Today, Craig Melvin, he did an interview with Jill Biden and goes, Dr. Jill Biden, aside from campaigning with her husband, she's also found some time to write a children's book about the presumptive Democratic nominee's life. It's called Joey. Wow, Dr. Jill Biden, how did you, how did you have time to take out, uh, time off the campaign and write a book, write a children's book? Not exactly sure how you found time to write a children's book about your husband. <laughs> it's a 2,500 word book. Like I, I have scripts that are longer than that. It's not like she had to do any research. It's like, hey, Joe, what, tell me a story. <laughs> anyway, I think I think it's I think that's good enough. Um, just getting this ready for four years of Joe Biden and his Bidenisms. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you next time.